After its three-day rise, the pound sterling has again resumed its downward movement. Curiously enough, its trajectory has changed despite the lack of any important news in the economic calendar. The euro hasn't slipped into downward correction so far. The euro dollar pair continues to edge higher from the support level at 1.0775. So, before opening deals, it's better to wait until the pair consolidates at the necessary level. Loan deals can be opened above the level of 1.0900 with the possibility of the price moving to 1.0925-0950. As for the short deals, pay attention to the levels below 1.0860 and so the price is likely to edge down to 1.0840-0830. The euro gained momentum amid positive France's labor market data. The number of jobless claims in France fell by 28,000. Moreover, the jobless claims have been declining for the third month in a row. The figures surpassed expectations. However, the single currency is likely to tumble after the release of the year's new home sales report. The report is expected to show an increase of 1.9%. Having lost most of its early gains, the pound sterling is likely to be unaffected by this data. The British currency is expected to consolidate in the same trading range. After the correction phase, the pound dollar pair reached the level of 1.300, where it reversed again and rolled back to the level of 1.2930. If the pair keeps on going down, Short deals could be opened at the level of 1.2910 or lower, 1.2885, as the pair may roll back and get stuck in the same trading range for a long time. Besides, a lot of traders are betting on the key rate cut by the Bank of England in August. The pound sterling is sure to be wind down by the uncertainty over the future of the monetary policy. That's all for now. We continue to keep close tabs on market developments. Subscribe to our channel and keep abreast of the latest Forex news. See you!